Hi, Mark from Half Dog here. Right, I always seem to be behind the curve. I've got like Harry Brook 69, did this two and a half years ago, I think. Um, new to homebrew Tom's about a year ahead. Uh, even the old farts beating me. And I can't believe that Brewmaster Ben's beat me to this. What are we talking about? Making my fermentation fridge. There's a cat here again. So, in my collection of junk, I found this. It's actually a DAT tape for a Sun workstation. These things are made, well, obsolete because we have DVDs and you saw these things on LTO discs, etc. these days. So I thought, I need to get rid. Let's get something new. Now, on the bottom, it's that old. It's got some little rubber feet which appear to have turned into blue tack. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of those. Good thing is, on the back it does have a power supply. It's got a fan to cool it down, in case we've got hot. Got our mains in, which is always good to uh, start with. Taking all the scuzzy connected at the bottom. So, my idea is, I'm going to fit the STC 1000 in here. Which will hopefully leave room, even with the power supply in, for a few sockets on it. So I can stick you know, a couple of sockets on there. Which, after the million and one videos that are out there on how to do an STC 1000, should work out well. It's quite heavy this, so I think it'll be right just sat on top of my fermentation fridge, or maybe could even wall mount it inside the brew shed. Okay, well that's a start. I've identified a box, identified an STC 1000, identified two sockets. Got some wire, I just need now to put it together. To your next video. Okay, we're a couple of days later from my first video, but I finished it. So there's my box that I had. You can clearly see mounted the STC 1000 in there. Um, the white stuff, just a piece of uh, plastic lid off some trunking. Got a hole out, job done. Cut two holes out on top. Uh, these are just temporary hot and cold indicators. Uh, I couldn't use your off switch because it was integrated into the power supply, so I had to just uh, mount an IEC connector on the back. And there's the thermocouple wire going through that hole. Should be plenty long enough, that. Now, look at the box. It's a sun box. There's people out there going to be screaming at me. You've wrecked a piece of history. That was worth a fortune. No, it wasn't. Go on Fleabay. You'll find it for 99p and nobody wants to buy it. Right, let's show you how it works. Now I've got two bulbs. I've got a hot and a cold. Well, a bulb for each. So I'll have one is hot and one cold. So I'll just plug these in. Oh, and then we'll turn it on, see what happens, eh? Here we go, here's the box now. Let's just plug some electric into it. Now that come on instantly because the set point is set at 20 degrees centigrade. So the bottom light just say heat down here. Um, let's put my hand on the thermocouple. We can raise that temperature. So imagine this is in the beer fermentation chamber and it's on a bit of a, a cold day and it needs to get that temperature up. So this is the other bulb. This is the cooling bulb. So let's put my finger on the thermocouple. Okay, it's gone off now. And we should start to see the cooling now. This is where a lot of people think it's not working. There is a setting within the STC 1000 that has a delay between the time it changes. That is currently set as default at 3 minutes. Mm. 
And there you go. That's the cooling to come on to try and obtain the set point. Let's just move these out of the way and we'll turn these off so you can see the screen. For this we'll just go into setup so you hold down the S button for a few seconds and you get F1. Now F1 is the set point, currently set at 19, my desired point. If we go to F2, this is a difference between the two settings, so basically it'll try and change when it's 18.5 or 19.5. Held it down, didn't hold it down long enough. Okay, so F3, now this is a time setting. So that's such as three minutes. Now what that means is, let's go down to one. Oop, you can change that to to one minute. Oh, go to ten minutes. Right, okay. It's three minutes to stop the actual control of hunting. Hunting means uh, it's trying to get around a set point. So it's either higher or lower. You're only turning off and on very rapidly because that's just going to and try and cut in the heater or the co or the cooler of the fridge and it's not a good idea that what you should do is let it settle a little bit first and hence you get the three minutes value which you can change to one minute if you want I know where uh, Remaster Ben was saying it took a while to come on it's because of three minutes okay so there's my little guest TC I'm going to mount this in the uh, brew shed next to the uh, fermentation fridge and catch up with the rest of you guys. Okay, well that's it for this week. And uh, as always, don't forget, stay thirsty. Hey everyone, I always seem to be behind the curve on this. Two years ago, it's out again, eh? Tech 2. Scrap that video. Right, today, I've got nothing to do. So I'm planning my fridge fermentation chamber. Now I seem to be a bit behind everyone else. I know we all have to start and we start at different times. So I'm sort of two and a half years behind Harry, a year behind Tom, even behind, uh, what is his name now? Just that again. Again, again. Okay. Hi, Mark here from Hover Dog. Now I always seem to be behind the curve on things. Two and a half years behind Harry, a year behind Tom. Even the old farts beat me to his uh, making the brewery. <laughs> Fucking cats here again. <sighs> Both cats are here. They're going to have a fight. Let's call this quits and start again. Hi, Mark from Hover Dog Brewery here. Right now, I always seem to be behind this curve. You know, there's a the curve for fuck's sake. Take five.